It's the latest in drone technology, and it sounds something like uh, straight out of a sci-fi movie. It's in the testing stages right now. Our own Brian Todd got a first-hand look. Wolf, we're here to test out the propulsion capability of the next wave of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and this is a model of it. It's called the AD-150, made by American Dynamics Flight Systems. What's going to be unique about this vehicle is its ability to lift off the ground vertically like a helicopter, then turn and fly forward. It's going to do that with the capability of this thing called a nacelle. It's like a propeller. It'll enable the craft to lift off, as we said, and then it turns to enable it to fly forward. And what we're testing out today is its capacity to actually make that transition. Will it have uh, the propulsion capability to make the transition from vertical to horizontal flight uh, without this vehicle crashing? This vehicle uh, will be similar to other UAVs in that it will have uh, avionics, it will have uh, intelligence gathering capability, weaponry on it, and it will have a payload of up to 1,000 pounds uh, if that's needed. Uh, they also want this to be able to fly in, on missions ahead of the Osprey helicopter. The Osprey carries payload, it picks up and drops off soldiers, and they want this to be able to fly ahead of the Osprey and be able to gather intelligence, maybe strike targets. So this is going to be a crucial test. What they're going to be testing out here is uh, the ability of this uh, this piece of machinery here, it's called the nacelle, just this propel propeller system here on the end of the, of the wing to lift and then transition. We're here at the Glen Martin Wind Tunnel at the University of Maryland to do this. Uh, this tunnel generates winds of up to 240 miles an hour, but for this test we're only going to go at about uh, probably 30 miles an hour or so, just again to see if it has that ability to make the transition. So we're going to go into the wind chamber and test that out. Into the wind chamber now. They're using smoke so that they can visualize the airflow, see if this thing does have that capacity to transition from vertical to horizontal flight. Uh, this is a scaled down version of the nacelle. The real ones are actually a lot bigger because the uh, UAV we're talking about is about 17 and a half feet from wingtip to wingtip. We're going to now talk to uh, Wayne Morse, the CEO of American Dynamics, to see how this thing is performing. Okay, Wayne. You've seen it in the wind chamber now. You've tested this out in the computer. Does this have the capacity to transition from the vertical to the horizontal flight? Most definitely. The uh, results we're getting from this test right now are extremely encouraging. The uh, military is going to want to put wounded soldiers, possibly a human payload, on UAVs in the future. Will this have the capacity to do that? Most definitely. With a 1,000-pound payload that the AD-150 has, it can certainly do that mission. We may have to do some uh, additional testing, but by all means, we all can right. do it. Well, Wayne, thanks very much. Thank Good luck. The makers uh, say that they want to have uh, the first flight for this new UAV, the AD-150, ready by January 2013. Each one of these vehicles is going to cost the military a few million dollars, but the makers say that that's a lot less than the average a UAV of similar size. Wolf? Brian Todd with an amazing story. Thank you.